वेलकम टू इजी साइंस लेट अस लर्न अबाउट ह्यूमन डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम एंड फूड डाइजेशन डाइजेशन इज द प्रोसेस ऑफ कन्वर्टिंग कंप्लेक्स ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स इनटू सिंपल ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स दैट कैन बी एब्जॉर्ब इनटू ह्यूमन बॉडी देयर आर टू प्रोसेसेस ऑफ डाइजेशन mechanical digestion that alters physical nature of food example breaking down food into particles chemical digestion where insoluble complex compounds are broken down into simple molecules by enzymes example starch converted to maltose by amylase mineral salts some vitamins and monosaccharides can be used by our body without digestion now let us see about human digestive system it is a single tube that runs from mouth to anus the main parts are buccal cavity pharynx esophagus stomach small intestine large intestine rectum and anus in addition salivary glands pancreas and liver are glands connected to digestive system and gall bladder is another part main functions of digestive system are food digestion absorption of digested end products and removal of undigested matter digestion begins in the buccal cavity with the help of teeth salivary glands and the tongue mainly mechanical digestion takes place the chemical digestion taking place here is conversion of starch to maltose by ptyalin or salivary amylase then the food is converted into a bolus and sent to the pharynx pharynx is a common area to both respiratory system and digestive system while moving through the pharynx there is a part called epiglottis present above the opening of trachea which prevents entering of the bolus into the trachea when the bolus is passed to the esophagus it is a constricted tube and here the food is passed by peristalsis movement no digestion takes place in the esophagus then the bolus moves to the stomach which is a dilated sac like organ bolus breaks down and mixes well into a chyme gastric juice is secreted in the stomach it contains hydrochloric acid pepsin and renin in infants hydrochloric acid activates the pepsin Pepsin converts protein to polypeptides. Renin helps in coagulation of milk in infants. Here, food retains for about three hours in the stomach. Some water, glucose, and drugs are absorbed in the stomach. Then the chyme that contains partially digested proteins, digested and undigested carbohydrates. undigested lipids water minerals and vitamins is released to the small intestine mainly chemical digestion takes place in the small intestine small intestine is around 7 meters long and it begins with a c shaped duodenum ducts of pancreas and gall bladder open to the duodenum pancreas releases pancreatic juice trypsin present in it converts protein to polypeptides amylase converts starch to maltose lipase converts lipids to fatty acid and glycerol bile which is produced in the liver stored in the gall bladder and carried by the bile duct is released to the duodenum it converts lipids to lipid droplets 
the process is called emulsification. The wall of intestine secretes intestinal juice. Maltose, maltase present in intestinal juice converts maltose to glucose. Sucrase converts sucrose to glucose and fructose. Lactase converts lactose to glucose and galactose. And peptidase converts polypeptides to amino acids. And digestion ends here. Also, mucus present in the intestinal juice lubricates the food and protects the inner lining of the gut wall. So the end products of digestion are monosaccharides, amino acids, fatty acids and glycerol. Absorption mainly takes place in the small intestine. There are some adaptations for efficient absorption. The small intestine is a long tube. Presence of circular folds in the wall. Presence of finger-like projections called villi. Presence of microvilli in epithelial cells of villi. Thin epithelial lining on villi. Villi are highly vascularized. Amino acids, vitamins, mineral salts and monosaccharides are absorbed into blood capillaries. Fatty acids and glycerol are absorbed into lacteals. And finally, they enter into the blood circulatory system. Unabsorbed materials in small intestine are sent to the large intestine. Large intestine is around 1.5 meter long. It begins at cecum and ends in anus. Undigested cellulose and water are present in large intestine. The main functions of large intestine are absorption of water and formation of the fecal matter, which is a semi-solid. It is yellow in color due to bile pigments. Fecal matter contains undigested food, microorganisms, epithelial cells and mucus. Fecal matter is passed out from the rectum. Now let us see the diseases and disorders related to digestive system. First is gastritis. Inflammation of inner lining of mucosa of the stomach is called gastritis. It is also known as acidity. The main symptoms are regurgitation of acid to the mouth, burning feeling and pain in stomach, and worse condition may cause ulcers and bleeding. The reason for gastritis are skipping of meals, consumption of acidic and spicy food, excessive smoking and alcohol consumption, and mental stress. Next, constipation. Difficulty in defecation due to hardening of fecal matter is called constipation. It is caused due to excessive absorption of water. The reasons are consumption of food with low dietary fibers, not taking required volume of water, and postponing defecation. Constant constipation may cause hemorrhage. Typhoid. It is caused by a bacterium transmitted through the food and water. The symptoms are pain in arms and legs, headache and fever. It can be prevented by getting a vaccine. Diarrhea. It occurs when intestine are infected with virus, bacteria or parasite. It is transmitted by feces of an infected person. The symptom is release of fecal matter in liquid state. It is caused due to improper absorption of water in the large intestine. We can take proper preventive measures to avoid causing of the diseases and disorders. Consumption of boiled drinking water, removal of breeding places of flies 
and covering the food to prevent entering of flies to the food. Avoiding consumption of food which are sold in open places and proper washing of hands with soap after using the toilet are some such methods.